In this video I'm going to talk about 3D printer accessories and modifications. This particular printer is called a Cossel Mini. It's uh, one of the many variations of RepRap like open 3D printers that you can build yourself. And these accessories can be put on just about any 3D printer. First let's talk about this hot end cooling fan. There's a fan right here and it, it's cooling the barrel on this hot end. I also printed a fan shroud to go around and focus the air so it goes through the hot end. You can see the air that's blowing out through there. It's pretty significant. So why would you want a cooling fan on your hot end? Well, um, it's to prevent uh, extruder jams, specifically PLA filament as it comes down um, and it heats up, PLA will expand. So you want to heat it up in the very bottom portion of the hot end. This part up here, you want it to be as cool as possible. Otherwise, if it's hot all the way up, it will expand and it'll jam. You won't be able to push the filament through. Next on the list is a cooling fan for your print bed. And what this fan does is, if your layers are very quick, so if there's, say, less than 30 seconds on a single layer, the plastic can be really hot. And when you stick the next layer on top of it, um, you know, you can get warping and so forth. So the fan is definitely needed some of the time, but definitely not all of the time. Now the, the software can automatically turn on the fan and speed it up and slow it down when it thinks it's needed. But I added a knob over here so I can manually change the speed and I can also turn it off if I want to. Next on the li list is removing the D1 diode from your ramps board. So this is what your ramps board looks like and it fits on top of the Arduino Mega. And right in there, actually, inside of those pins, there's a diode. And what that diode does is it will connect your big power supply and all of the electronics. It connects that to the, the uh, Arduino board. And the problem with that is there's a lot of uh, harmonic distortion and spikes coming in from these stepper motors and the heaters and I just had bad luck with that. Um, the board would lock, the Arduino would lock up, um, so forth. So when you take that diode out, the Arduino board is powered from the USB. So I want you to notice that there's a little diode in here. Let's get some better light on it. The next feature that I added to this console is Whenever you get the parts list and you build your own uh, printer, it won't really force you to put your board in anything. You could just mount the bare board here, or I've seen them down here with an LCD display and so forth. So I've chosen this box. I uh, found it on Thingiverse, modified some of the, uh, the pieces so that the ramps board fits in there nicely. Um, there's a cooling fan on this. Um, since this is a Delta printer, the, you're actually going to turn up the current on the, the little driver modules. And here's the little stepper motor driver. There's five of these in there. And um, they can output up to two amps, uh, but they can start getting hot. Um, you have to turn up your current on these steppers fairly high, otherwise if the uh, end brushes against something, it'll, it'll get off. So, um, a fan is pretty nice, keeps everything nice and cool, and also I added a heated bed to this, so it's cooling that uh, big MOSFET in there. I added 1K potentiometers and switches so that you can adjust the fan speeds and so forth, so Turn the fans off, turn them on, adjust the speed. Uh, for instance, right now you can hear there's a lot of noise here. That's the, the fan on the extruder. 
turn that sucker off. It gets quiet in here. Now this fan, you give it a full 12 volts, it's pushing a lot of air. It's pushing a lot of air. So, you know, I have to live with this thing, so um, it's nice to be able to turn it down to a, a rate that is giving me good cooling and yet it still uh, is quiet and nice. So I've got the fan speed on the, ex the hot end, fan speed down here for the bed, fan speed and then of course my light. And then power. Sometimes it can seem like there's a, a shadow right under the hot end, so I have a, a light. And those are just little LED light strips. Those are pretty cheap. I got those on Hobby King. But I've got a potentiometer here and a switch, so I can look at my print. And the next thing I added was a power switch. Um, you can have a switch on your power supply, but this is kind of handy and there's an LED that shows when the power is on. Another thing that um, is usually left up to you is how you're going to run your wires. So I built these wiring harnesses and then I used this cool plastic sleeve and um, it definitely makes it a look a lot nicer. It's a expandable wire sleeving. And it's pretty cheap. It probably cost me uh, five bucks for 20 feet or something. So it it makes things look a lot nicer, as you can see. Along with it, that I made some little brackets that uh, you can just snap the harness in. Kind of heated bed. If you're printing using ABS plastic, which I am, you pretty much need a heated bed, especially if the print is bigger, man, it will warp really bad if you don't have a heated bed. So if we uh, check the ambient temperature, 30, my bed here is about 90 degrees centigrade. If you're printing really big things, you might need to go all the way up to about 110. Along with that, this surface right here is aluminum. You can get a borosilicate glass, which is um, you're heating heating it up so it doesn't shatter. But that's kind of expensive. It's you know 30 bucks. So I uh, went with a sheet of aluminum, and man, it, it works great. My print surface is blue painter's tape, which is a nice reusable surface, especially with the heated bed. Once the bed cools down your print will almost just pop off of there, but it sticks. Another thing you never really think about until you actually need it is how you're going to spool off your filament. So here's a uh, handy filament holder that uh, uses the same extruded aluminum. It's a 15 by 15 millimeter extruded aluminum from Mitsumi. So this is just a cool little quick way you just throw it on there and you have choices when it comes to an extruder this is what pushes the filament in um, there are a lot of different extruders out there um, what I figured out is you either need to buy a high-powered geared uh, stepper motor to do a direct drive or here you can see that I'm, I'm gear reducing using this Greg's accessible extruder. This one works really well. The faster you want to print, the more pressure you need to push it through. And um, which brings me to my next point. Right now, I turned the current down on this uh, stepper motor so that it will start slipping. The, the stepper motor itself won't be able to turn it if it meets too much uh, resistance and the reason I did that is because I had it turned up before and what it would do is it would spin out and it would like cut a little hole a little dip in the plastic and once it spins out I mean your print will probably fail because then it will just stop feeding and uh, it will make you very angry so 
few things you'll need if you don't have them is calipers. You definitely have to have calipers, not only for setting up the machine, getting things precise, but if you're trying to make something, um, it's best to have some calipers so you can, you know, measure and get the exact measurements. And, and then another um, essential thing that I have here is I have a heater. You could just use a regular heat gun, but I have one here that um, is attached to my soldering station, and it was it's meant for um, reflow and, and melting solder, but you can adjust the temperature to whatever you want, and it's really good for, say if you had to file on something and then you want it to look nice again, you, you warm it up and it, it smooths everything out, but also say you have uh, tight tolerances like that and you're trying to jam it in there you don't want to split your plastic so you can warm everything up you're actually probably going to want an assortment of files for your uh, cleaning up your plastic objects let's look at this uh, print quality it's really quite nice on the Costle Mini I like it Here's some quick uh, examples of things you can print and of course parts for the 3D printer as well, you can print those too.